everyone. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, my name is Juliana. I'm the owner of the Evolution Store. And uh, today, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I wanted to sort of go based off of the legend that apparently St. Patrick banished all of the snakes from Ireland. And um, when he did that, apparently they all ended up here because we have a ton of snakes that I want to show you today. And hopefully you'll see um, that we have a lot of cool stuff for you to come check out um, either on our website or here in the store. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of some of the different snake things that we have. Um, we have some really, really big snake skeletons that are really um, masterfully articulated and we put them in these beautiful frames. So that's a really big piece um, that's really cool. Um, we also have some snake inspired jewelry. We have this cute little ring back here. We have a couple more little snake rings back there. And um, these teeny tiny snake earrings in between a couple of bats. So we have that if you're looking for something to, uh, you know, accent your, your accessories with. Um, and then we have a real showstopper over here. Oops, sorry for my finger. Um, this is a striking cobra skeleton in a glass dome. So this guy is one of the coolest pieces we have in the store. Um, followed very closely, I would say, by our cobra versus rat skeleton display that we have here. So they are locked in an internal battle forever. Um, and that is a very, again, really, really skillfully done articulation um, that is now preserved forever. Uh, on the other side of this display here, we have um, a much more basic snake skeleton. Um, if you're just starting out your collection, this is something that you can get. This is available on our website. Um, this is a venomous snake skeleton. We also have non-venomous snake skeletons that look almost exactly identical as far as the skeleton is concerned. Um, so that's a great sort of starter piece for a collection. And then we also have another couple of really beautiful framed snake skeletons. Again, these are really more like high-end quality pieces. One over there and one in the back over there, kind of hiding, ready to strike. Um, but the items that I wanted to focus on most today are our rattlesnakes. Um, so we have a really awesome collection of taxidermy rattlesnakes um, that you can see here. We have them in a bunch of different sizes. Most of them are in the striking position, as you can see here, but um, we also have one that's called a cow pie. Um, those are especially dangerous if you sort of encounter them because they are small and easy to step on by accident. We also have just the rattlesnake head if you're looking for something a little bit more portable. And of course, rattlesnake rattles, which are great and they really do rattle. So I'm gonna walk around the side here so that I can show you a little closer up one of the bigger ones that we have back here. literally a behind the scenes look. So this rattlesnake here is really big. As you can see, this is one of the biggest sizes that we have. Put my hand next to it so that you can see. It's really, really tall. Um, and they really do rattle. If you can hear that and you shake them around, they really do rattle. So you can imagine how terrifying that would be to encounter um, sort of unexpectedly out in the desert. Um, they, this is a Western Diamondback rattlesnake, which is one of the largest rattlesnakes in the US. Um, it's also the snake that's responsible for the most snake bites in the US. So it's a definitely a formidable sort of a predator. And um, it's called a Diamondback because you can see obviously it has this really cool diamond pattern on, the, on their backs right here and um, they are very, very venomous. As you can see from the fangs there, they, um, you know, they're snake bites. Um, thankfully we have anti-venom for them, but if uh, left untreated, the snake bites can be fatal for humans like 10 or 20% of the time. So it's a pretty high fatality rate. 
Um, and so you have a really cool piece here with the fangs in that striking pose. Um, another interesting fact though, even though, you know, um, even though rattlesnakes are, like I said, such formidable sort of predators, they actually don't need to eat that often and they can go um, up to two years without eating in the wild, which is a really interesting fact, um, if you ask me. Um, this particular piece also has a little hidden bonus that I saw when I was getting ready to shoot this episode, and I thought I would just point it out. Um, it has, it died uh, happy, let us say. So this is actually the snake's penis that is sticking out of its body and you can see it is super gnarly it is first of all split in two kind of like they have forked tongues apparently they also have forked penises and it's like full of these bristles so this is a bonus that not every snake um, that we get happens to have but if you get lucky maybe you'll get one uh, that is uh, sort of well endowed in this way shall we say um, yeah let's just say I'm I'm glad I'm not a lady snake. That doesn't look too pleasant. Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of uh, uh, our snake collection here at the Evolution Store, and I hope you guys have a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye.